Let's take a look at the Demco adjustable trailer couplers. This is gonna work for your trailer if you have a channel like this. You wanna measure the inside width. It needs to be three inches. The holes need to be five eighths inches in diameter and then they need to be spaced apart two inches and then it's gonna fit. So we're gonna have two different kinds. We'll have the two inch right here, which is for your two inch ball. And it's gonna have a capacity of 7,000 pounds gross trailer weight. But we're also gonna have a bigger one, which is gonna be for your two and five sixteenths inch ball, which is gonna bring the capacity all the way up to 12,500 pounds. So you have two different options there. Just match it up with the weight of your trailer and what you're loading it with. And then also just match it up with the correct ball size. Let's take a couple measurements here. This is gonna let you know how much distance we're gonna add to our trailer. So from our channel to the very end, it's about eight and a half inches. And then with our bigger one, it'll stick out a little bit more, not much though. And that is gonna be nine and a half inches from the center of our mounting holes right here to the center of where the ball is gonna sit. That's gonna be eight inches on the two and five sixteenths version. And then on the two inch version, that same exact measurement is gonna be seven and a quarter inches. You are gonna have to source your own hardware to get this installed. We have a couple different kits on our website. I always go with the grade eight bolts because they look cool, but also they're gonna be a little bit harder and stronger than the grade five bolts. So all you need to do, if you're not gonna go with these, just make sure that you get two washers with it. We put one on one side and one on the other, and a lock nut is recommended for sure. The overall length of it is gonna be five inches, and the diameter is five eighths of an inch. So, you can use those measurements to find the correct hardware, but we do have a kit that comes with one of these, so just grab two of these if you're going with my recommendation. Might as well go with the higher quality hardware just to make sure it's not gonna be the weakest point of your whole setup. The slide lock design is gonna be ideal for your construction trailers, enclosed trailers, but mainly for the livestock and horse trailers. That's what we usually see this type of coupler on and the reason for that is it's gonna have a little bit more range than some of the others. So we're gonna back up to it. We're gonna drop it down on our ball. And you can either take a rubber mallet or use your hands, but you really wanna be careful because it will snip your fingers because it's spring loaded. So I usually use my foot or the rubber mallet if you have one in there. And then once we have it in there, we can take our little pin and put it through. I like the design on the end because you can kind of sit there and push it. And it's a little bit easier to undo. But this is kind of nice because we have it connected. But look at all this travel that you get. So this is really gonna come in handy when you're on those uneven terrain. It's just gonna give you a little bit more movement so this thing doesn't get all bound up and stuff starting to break. So that's kind of nice to take it off. You just gotta start with the pin pull this out, slide it out, and then your ball comes undone. Pretty quick and easy to use. Both of our units are gonna be made of a heavy duty steel, and it's gonna have a black powder coated finish to it. So it's gonna help resist against rust and corrosion. So everything is sliding and snapping into place just as good as the day you picked it up from us. When it comes to adjustable trailer couplers, I think they're all kind of the same. Some are gonna come with hardware, some aren't but that's not really a huge deal because we do have the hardware here for you. At the end of the day, when it comes to picking the right one, if you need a little bit more travel, this is gonna be a lot better than some of the standard couplers that you have, but ideally for those livestock and construction trailers. Speaking of construction trailers, one thing I would definitely add on top of getting the hardware is some sort of lock. So there's a couple different ones we can do. One, we can do a lock that goes where the pin goes. We designed one that goes gonna go all the way through and you can use it on other couplers as well. So you can do one right there, but also there's another one that kind of slides over this whole entire unit. So it's gonna just completely block 
the hole where your ball goes. I definitely recommend that just because someone can just unbolt this and take it. It's not a weld on unit. So if you want my advice to give you a little bit more peace of mind to make sure your trailers are gonna be there in the morning, definitely grab a lock. Pretty much it for a look at the Demco Slide Lock Adjustable Trailer Coupler.